When you talk about candidates for Conference USA Player of the Year, look no further than Old Dominion's MVP, point guard Ahmad Kaver. You know, we're fortunate we've got, you know, uh, a number of guys that are, are very valuable to our team, but none of them are more valuable than Ahmad. High praise from Coach Jeff Jones. Kaver is the glue that helps hold the Monarchs together. He's second in the conference in minutes played, assists and steals, but one stat line really stands out. He's been very good all year long. I just think that when you look at the, the uh, assist to turnover ratio in the last four or five games, it's, it's, uh, it, it's mind boggling. In those last five games, Kaver has 41 assists and a mere two turnovers. His assist to turnover ratio, the best in the conference and fourth in the nation. The number one thing I look at when I look at stats is turn my turnovers. Like after every game, if I look, I want to know if I have a turnover or one or two or something like that because I hate turning the ball over. Um, so I'm just making the right plays, um, trying to control the game. He does a great job of leading our team. You know, Our team wouldn't be nowhere near as good as it is without him. He doesn't turn the ball over. Old Dominion allows the fourth fewest points of any team in the nation. That's out of 351 teams. And Coach Jones says a lot of the credit goes to Caver. His is probably, in my estimation, the best defensive point guard uh, in Conference USA. Uh, when you look at uh, you know how we play defense, and he's kind of the, the tip of the spear, so to speak. ODU has won five games in a row and is tied for second place in the conference. On the horizon, road games against Marshall and Western Kentucky. I think we're just going in focused, knowing that we got to play better than we did last time against Marshall, even though we won. We, they still came back and cut, cut the lead down a lot. Um, against Western, we got to play it much better too. So I think we're just staying focused and knowing the game plan. In Norfolk, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.